Well, good, good evening, everyone. I'm Scott from the Old Curiosity Shop, and have I got a special treat for you. Come with me now as we explore an old South Philadelphia basement. Okay, there we go. All right, I won't... All right, wave. All right, that's it. <laughs> she doesn't want to be a movie star yet. Not that you'd be a movie star on my channel. You wouldn't be... Well, everyone, I am in uh, a... Where am I? I'm in a South Philly basement. We are going to go digging through this basement. Oh my gosh. Okay, so Margaret said, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I just, hold on. I just got here and look at this light. Look at this. This is probably an Edison Mazda. Look at the tip on the top of that. Margaret! No, she's busy upstairs the stairs with somebody else. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, calm down. I have to make a... Uh, I, I have to start making piles. Look at all of this stuff. Oh my gosh, okay. You're gonna get, you're gonna, I have to stop saying, oh my gosh. Okay, let me move this. I'm gonna start making a little pile. Now, this is what you would call a relatively new South Philly row house. This one was built around 1920. That's why I say relatively new, you know, because, uh, some of these row houses in this part of the in this neighborhood go back to the 1850s and then over in old city they go all the way back to the 17 something something look at this look at these there's noise upstairs look at this now in the 1920s when you had a ceiling fixture yeah, you take the light bulb out, of course, and put this in, and then you get two light bulbs for the price of one. That's porcelain. Okay. This stuff is all... I'm going to try to show you... Look at this one here. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. It's in the... I'm busy looking at what I'm doing. Okay, I'll go back through that a little bit later. This stuff is so old. I don't know where I should um, look at all these tools. So, uh, oh, oh, oh. So anyway, uh, this is the house where Margaret grew up. I think she said her parents moved here in the 50s. And so some of these things would have been here, you know, before that. Look at this old, this is faux, this is artificial grain on this. This is not marble. It's a wooden, this is wood. And this is done on here to look like marble. That's all paint. And that's probably that probably goes back to the 1880s. This wooden, my goodness. That's a valuable piece right there. Let me turn around so the you can see the, wow. All right, there's a nice old oak piece right there. 1890s. And an old, that looks like an old, is that an old zenith back there from the 60s? And all the tools on the wall. Um, gosh, it's hard to tell. Look at these old 
newspapers. Okay, let me go in this direction. And here's an oak uh, china closet. Uh, I'm gonna have to turn my, I think I have to turn my light on so you can see it. That's, uh, that dates to about 1920. That's early 20s, this particular style. And that's when, um, you know, oak, I know you can't see it. Well, maybe you can see it there. Oak hadn't, ooh, they're upstairs tearing it up. Uh, oak hadn't, oak was on its way out. Look at this. Wow. All right, there's a fish bowl. Look at this little step ladder here. I can use that. I think we'll put that in my pile. Um, Margaret is kind enough to let me take whatever I want. <laughs> and I'm gonna do just that, Margaret. I'm gonna take whatever I want. Uh, there's her dollhouse back there. She said she didn't want that. Some old oak chairs. I know she's gonna keep the pictures. I think she told me that she doesn't know. She thinks maybe her father's on her father's side. But, um, you know, sometimes it's just things get away from you. I think Margaret might be on her way down. What is this thing over here? Oh, that's a that's a, like a workbench thing. Oh, I got to see what that looks like. Oh, it's a portable. Um, look at that thing with the handle on it. I might like to take that for my workshop. I'm gonna have a workshop really soon. And that thing, uh, yeah, that's like a portable tool gizmo. I have to ask her if her father made that. And there's some more big old furniture right there. And, uh, oh, how creepy. There's a poor old Charlie McCarthy. No, that's not Charlie McCarthy. Wait a minute. I do know my Charlie McCarthy. Let's let's get him out of there. He he Yep, that's supposed to be Charlie McCarthy. He doesn't have his monocle or his top hat. Um well, it looks a little bit like Rich Little. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> the story gets better as it goes along. Well, it can't get worse. <laughs> What happens now? Well, I'll tell you. Now, where was I? I don't know. You were sitting there laying an egg. No, no. I don't think you're good for television. All right. Well, you see, that's the trouble with television. You gotta memorize. All right. Uh, you were telling a story. Oh, yes, yes. I was telling a story. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm practically doing a single up here. All right. Well, I'll go on. Yeah, I dare you. All right. Yeah. My cousin's had one of the... I wonder how old this guy is. He's got a hard rubber head. Let's see if his mouth still works. Oh, wait a minute. Come on. No, the string. No, got to fix that. Welcome to my basement. I will kill you if you sp spend the night. Okay, let's put that... Let's put that down. There's an old uh, metal kitchen thing from the 40s. It's got cracked ice on the top. I can see that. The 40s or the 50s. Can you see the old, what is it, Formica? And I, I, this looks like some old, I don't know, there are old 78s in here uh, Elizabeth was telling me about. Okay, let me turn on, let me come right back. All right, I've just turned my light on. Here we have early 1930s kitchen table. Now I'm gonna look around to try to see if I can find, um, these had uh, porcelain enamel tops and that's not the original top to that, but that's a, that's a nice old uh, kitchen table from the Depression era. 
and an old uh, quarter sawn oak claw foot table. They were popular in kitchens around the turn of the century. Look at that. Mm. I wonder what's in those trunks back there. Oh, here are the old records. You know I'm gonna take these with me. Let's just look at one. Dear little boy of mine. Oh, this is a classical one-sided. Let's see what we've got on Columbia. Uh, let's see. Uncle Josh and the Fire Department by Cal Stort. Yes, that's a good one. He was hilarious. What do you call that, a bassinet? That thing? Old wash tub. I would love to know what it, what uh, is in these trunks. Here's some newspaper from the 60s. John Wanamaker Department Store, of course. What year is this? 19... Mm, 1963. All right. Elizabeth is upstairs. I'm, I'm getting ready to... I'm going to open up this trunk. I don't know. Should I do it? She, she can't hear me. Uh, oh, live large. Okay, who knows? There could be skeletal remains. Oh, thank goodness. It's empty. Okay. It's like an old army blanket. I don't know, that one seems empty too. Trunks are wonderful. Wow. Well, there's an awful lot down here and I, I need to look up at what might be hanging from the ceiling. It looks like somebody's chamber pot with the handle broken off of it and the old screens oh my goodness water heater doesn't look very old oh she told me about the music cabinet that's what this is right here and of course people would store their sheet music in there and uh, there's usually a decal on the front. Yeah. See with the horn and the lute and the, the uh, sheet music. So this will, this will clean up some old, old music still in there. America's National Songs. Philadelphia. Alexander's gospel songs. So I will definitely take that with me and uh, that'll be a project, but that's worth cleaning up. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. Well, some old wooden doors and picture frames. Look at this poor old clock or what's left of it this old black mantle clock yeah that thing has that poor thing has seen better days there it is sometimes there's still a little bit of tension on the spring and you can get the bells to ring sometimes no, not on this one. Yeah, this this guy needs a total restoration. 
but uh, certainly for parts, all of these pieces here, the bezel, the face of the clock. Let's see, is this an Ansonia? I don't see on the front. Mm. Back here somewhere. Now that's uh, that Telecron, that's from some other clock because that says electric and that wouldn't have been the back. This is the original back to this clock here. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, see the dust. I wonder what's in here. Oh, it's an old wardrobe. My goodness. Ooh, I better watch what I'm doing. My goodness. Well, that was a lot of fun. And believe me, I'm going back. I was a little pressed for time today, but Elizabeth, uh, Margaret Elizabeth, is has welcomed me to come back again and dig a little bit more. And I'll probably even be able to show you some of the other treasures in the house. Now in the truck, I've got a load of stuff, which I'm not gonna show you today. I'll just show you, show you a couple of things quickly. I love these old fashioned oak, oak, oak book <laughs> troughs uh, or, or uh, expandable bookends that fold down. They're from uh, the era of the 1920s. This one is wonderful old dark oak, which you would expect. And this looks like tile, but this is painted on the wood. And we sort of have a colonial era figure. Now these are totally craftsman style colors. Yeah, and the old oak. Okay, so we have a colonial era man painted there. And another one over here, looking like he uh, has no teeth left in his head. Okay, so these are wonderful. And I said, this is all paint. Don't know who made this. There might've been a store sticker on it at one time, but this is gonna look really nice uh, with some old fashioned books sitting in between it. So I was really thrilled. So Margaret, thank you so much for giving this and all of these wonderful other things to me. We're gonna end tonight's video with a song. Um, there was a box in the basement that contained about mm, maybe 80 old 78s. You know I've been collecting 78s since I was a teenager, a young teenager. And uh, the records that were in the basement, all of these old records date back to um, the late teens, the World War I, well, anywhere from 1915 up to the very early 20s. So we'll listen to one. Uh, we'll take it inside and we'll play this old Columbia record here. This one, let's see, why don't we play? Oh, I picked an appropriate one. Uh, where did that bug come from? Get out of here. Um, this old Columbia record here goes way back. And uh, this is entitled, There's a Quaker Down in Quaker Town. How appropriate, very appropriate way to put an end on this video as we listen to there's a Quaker down in Quaker Town and I am speaking to you from Quaker Town not Quaker Town Pennsylvania there is such a place but the city of Philadelphia also known as the Quaker Town okay Elizabeth thank you that was a lot of fun I can't wait to go back and pick up the rest of the stuff and show it to you but for now that's it I'm Scott from the old curiosity shop saying thanks for watching and so long for now